don't worry about the next because it's your boy chris with the next okay i'm <laughs> being silly i'm doing my voiceover again all right so this video is going to be about caliph browder and his mother vanita browder rest in peace to both of them now i did a story about depression and uh, i mentioned his name uh it was like a year ago and i mentioned that um i mentioned him i mentioned one of those chip and tail strippers and i m mentioned um a funny guy robin williams rest in peace to all of them talked about depression and um i was really sad about this story kind of sad like when luther's mother passed away but um i'm very sad about this story because i'm hearing about her passed away also, uh, Tupac's mother passed away this year. 2016 is looking like another 2001. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, let me stop saying, um, no, uh, K uh, Vanita Browder died of a broken heart. She was very, um, I believe she, yeah, she was depressed about her son and what happened. I believe that was her only child, you know. He, okay, so if those of you who don't know about the Caliph Browder situation, he was a black man, 22 years old. At 16, he got arrested in New York for attempted robbery of a backpack. The police just pulled him over. He's walking home, I believe from school, and they just pulled him over and took him to jail. And, you know, some people cannot survive in prison for for 15 minutes. Uh, 59, uh, 49 minutes, whatever. He, he went to jail for three years, and uh, two of those three years, he was in solitary confinement for um, attempted suicide. So then, when he finally got released, he was, you know, on this positive trail, you know, and you know, his, but his mental, unfortunately, his mentality um, faded, and he just couldn't take it anymore all the beatings that he went through, the abuse in jail. Y'all know how jail can be. Especially a person like him does not belong in jail. He cannot survive jail. He was not meant to be in jail. And a lot of black men, a lot of the black youth, you know, I've almost call, uh, come across going to jail over false accusations. You know, you have a lot of... Uh, now, if you're a thug, ghetto, um, thug hood, you know, I'm all about my gang. You know, you belong in there, and whatever happens to you happens. But people like Caliph Browder, people like myself, we do not belong in jail. And usually a lot of good black men do get lied on. Look at Merlin Santana and that hoe that lied on him, saying she got raped. And, and then he got shot in the back of the head. You know, his career, I could see him on being on a LAPD um, a detective show or something. He he could have probably, you know, we never know what he could have been. You know, after the Steve Harvey show, is, um, he wasn't getting that much work, but, you know, he was still determined. I mean, if he got out the hood and got on a hit syndicated show, you know, I had no doubt he could have been bigger. Uh, you know, it's just really sad that, you know, a lot of a good black men do get lied on. And unfortunately, this man had to, um, you know, come across that. And he went to jail for three years, you know, 16. And at 16, you know, when you're young like that, you know, you have a lot of hormones. Like you have a lot of emotions. Like, everything is popping off. So you're not a child no more. So everything is popping off. So you go through a lot at that age. And then he was 22 years old, you know. He couldn't, you know, shake you know, I'm 25, you know, I'm still trying to shake off, you know, shit that happened to me, you know, sometimes we get to, sometimes we don't, and unfortunately, he just experienced this negative, very negative experience, and it, he took his own life, and, and you know, his mother, you know, because it's sad to see a parent die, but it's even worse to see a parent lose their child, you know, and she's probably you know, thinking about, you know, she gave birth to him, nursed him as a baby, uh, you know, seeing him grow up. And then this tragic event happened and it took three years for him to get out of jail for something that he did not do.
Just like that guy, that black guy that got lied on. Some chick said he, she got raped and there was no evidence. And he finally got out of jail. And they was thinking, should females go to jail for lying, saying that a man raped them when they didn't? And I think so. Because when you go to jail, you know, that's time of your life that you cannot get back. That's time wasted. That's time spent in a place that you do not need to be. Is a very inhumane place. And so when I heard this story when she passed away, you know, Jay-Z was doing a story. He was about to do a life story about Caleb Browder, you know, and he was getting ready to, the mother was behind it, you know, uh, you know, Jay-Z was, you know, pumping her up, you know, say, you know, giving her her props, saying, you know, she was a very strong woman, she was full of love, and she was. You know, he, Jay-Z was about to, you know, make this go nationwide, you know, we, people getting lied on, it's not cool, especially our black youth. And, yeah, you know, her, she just, because you could get so angry until you could have a heart attack. I'm pretty sure she wasn't angry. Well, she was angry at that, but, you know, I've gotten so angry that, I'm, you know, your heart started being funny and you have to calm down, you know. So you definitely can die from a broken heart being lonely. Like Anna Nicole Smith, when her son died, you know, it's real sad. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was really devastated hearing that story. It was just up there with Prince and Tupac's mother and David Bowie, Glenn Frey, uh, so forth and so forth who will be lost this year. Uh, yeah, like I said, this year has been like another 2001. You know, we had Aaliyah. Then we had 9-11 and just so, uh, Moesha got canceled. So, you know, so much happened that year. Then the next year, uh, we lost Left Eye and it was just crazy. So this year... I don't know. This year is just crazy. Um, that really d did devastate me. But at least her and her sons reunited again. I hope they having fun on the next journey, next lifetime, or whatever God has in store for them. You know, playing in the clouds. I really, really, really am glad to see them in a positive, safe spot away from this place. I mean, the world can be a very beautiful place most of the times, majority of the times, and some of the times it can be the worst place you can be. And just some, we have evil spirits, we don't have, you know, especially in this generation, a lot of savagery, a lot of evilness, a lot of, you know, a lot of good things are not promoted, and a lot of people think that's the way it should be, and it's not. Because everything you do come back to you tenfold. Karma Come, what goes around comes around. Karma exists. And so the cops or whoever beat him in jail or whoever lied on him, you know, what goes around comes around. He lost his life. Now his mother passed away over that tragic event. You know, that's real sad. You know, don't lie on people, you know. We just, <laughs> you might think it's funny. You might think you got away with something, but you didn't. Anyways, rest in peace, Vanita Browder and Caleb Browder. Um, may God have, a, a, you know, your soul because he does. And yeah, that's just me. Um, that's just what I want to come to y'all talk about. All right. Any comments, questions, concerns, you know where to leave them in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You ain't even got to share. Just like and comment. I want y'all to somebody you know at least know that my videos is being out there being watched thank you to all the new subscribers thank you to all the old people who stuck by me who ain't unsubscribed um yeah I was about to name drop somebody but yeah not worth my time okay peace until next time peace